Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced GIS Analysis and Programming. On today's episode, we will be discussing geoethics. So if you go to our course website and come to geoethics, so what are geoethics? Well, I like to start off lectures typically with a quote, this from Papalino and Di Capua. So geoethics are not a limit to the freedom of action, but a new opportunity to contribute the best way forward for society. Now, geoethics as a topic or discipline of research and discussion is fairly new. It doesn't go back much more than about five, maybe even ten years ago. Uh, so one way, and you may not have even heard of it, so how do we define it? Uh, so I thought perhaps to, to put it into something that's more recent, and if you scroll through the news articles on the web right now, you will see that there are references to the Dakota Access Pipeline, which heralds back to those ethical dilemmas from 2017 and all of those environmental issues. So if we, we look at this as, as our sort of focus to get us thinking about what are ethics, we think of environmental ethics really as the trade-off between our ethical concerns and short-term economic benefits. And the important thing about these two key terms here is that they both relate to what we value, but more importantly, how our values influence our actions. So we're seeing some of some of the key points and how we define ethics here. So then these values, how do we value things? Well, I'm challenging you right now. Think of something that you value. Okay. Now, let's see how we can categorize that. Now, if it's something that you use directly, we think of that as a use value. Now, if it's something that you know exists, but maybe you'll never experience, that would be something like an existence value. So donating to the conservation of the, of the rainforest, for example. Uh, something that you might use at a later time, we say that's an option value. Something that has beauty or emotional appeal, we call that the aesthetic value. Something that's important for research, we give that a scientific value. Something for teaching or learning, we give that the educational value. Or something that sustains or defines our culture, we give that the cultural value. So we might be thinking about this as, are they defining the right and wrong actions? And actually, when we look at what right and wrong are, uh, they actually fall under the category of morals. So the differentiation here between morals and ethics is that our morals are our personal pr principles of right and wrong, whereas ethics are used as rules of conduct with respect to our culture. So when we think about our morals, really they're individual. Each one of us has our own beliefs about what's right and wrong, where ethics are more defined societal. So that's sort of externally. So morals are internal to ourselves. Ethics are external. Morals are more or less something that we believe in, whereas ethics is because society says so. And morals are transcendental, which can be very difficult to govern, which is why we have ethics, because we can govern them. So this is the separation of ethics and morals, but actually they are rather related. So what is the relationship between the two? Ethics are the set of morals or beliefs of a given group that guide and clarify our actions. So here we see this of a given group. So who is this group? Well, it turns out that that uh, can be a little bit tricky. We said that ethics are the set of morals for a given group. So we could imagine that we have these two groups and we said that ethics were societal or cultural. So we have a culture A and a culture B. Each one has its set of morals that define its ethics. But then the question is, are they different or are they the same? Uh, so 
if you ask, some, someone might say yes, someone, some, someone might say no. Uh, it turns out there are those who are relativists that say each culture should be allowed their own set of ethics. And then there are those, oh, sorry. Uh, so one example of this is our idea of the freedom of religion. All right. In opposition are those who are more universalist. Uh, they say that there exists a single set of ethics that should hold true across all cultures. Uh, and we would exemplify this as something more like the human rights or human equality. Okay, so, you know, who's right? Uh, what, what do you think? Are you more of a relativist or a universalist? Or is there some kind of sort of area in between? So from here, things get tricky. Uh, you know, who's right and who's wrong? Uh, do your morals coincide with the ethics of your society? Uh, you know, we can get into a whole lot of sort of nitty-gritty details. So, you know, let's go back to geoethics. Uh, another way of sort of describing this is to know that the well-being and survival of humankind depends on Earth's habitability and resources. And you're probably saying, well, this sounds a lot like sustainability. And you're exactly right. So we know this from the triple bottom line uh, in economics, the three Ps from environmental science, that's people, planet, and profit. Or you might know it from the sustainability Venn diagram, where we see that we have to balance the economic sort of financial well-being with our societal sort of health, culture, and livability with the environment that provides all of the services that we need to survive. So what do we do to drive our actions to sort of this idealized center of this Venn diagram? Well, we think about these values again. So geoethics are the values which underpin appropriate behaviors and practices wherever human activities interact with the Earth system. So when we're talking about geospatial information systems and geospatial analysis, you know, where do you see our actions interacting with the Earth system? Well, we have spatial data, of course, which is our representation of the Earth. So you know, my, my challenge to you is to take a look at these two readings. The first one is the definition of geoethics by the IAPG. That's the International Association for Promoting Geoethics. And then the article that I quoted at the very beginning uh, titled The Meaning of Geoethics to give you some better understanding. And then I want you to see if you can find an article online. I don't care if it's a news story or a blog post or a journal article or whatever. Post a link to it in our team's discussion and then write a few sentences discussing, you know, what was that thing or things that were of value. And what you can characterize it now that we have some definitions. And then what was the major ethical dilemma or the ethical points of the article? And then what is your opinion of that concern? All right. Here are some further readings, the emerging field of geoethics, of course, dated 2017, and then the IAPG's website. All right. So this is an introduction to geoethics. If you have questions, please feel free to, to comment on this video, and I will catch you next time.